Well, greetings and salutations, everybody. Welcome back once again for the very first time to the Farts and Crep Show, where today, as per usual, it's your host, Anjo, here with part uh, 65, I do believe, of Horizon Forbidden West Complete Edition. Hope you guys are all doing well today, and on today's episode, we are back in near... well... No, this is the vicinity, yeah, back in Pangea Park. Uh, because I did look up some stuff in between episodes, and um, we now have all the aerial captures, all the Delver's trinkets, and finished up the Delver's trove. And we have all the Pangea figurines, which I don't know if we have to study what they say first or not. Not sure how it goes. I think it's a little quiz or something. Is how they do this. Um, let's do that. Yeah. There we go is the right way gonna go over here it's the right way what's this I think each one is a thing each one of the trinkets I think so welcome to Dino digits the game where you prove your Pangea prowess. I'm your host, Craig T. Young. We've got five questions lined up on the terminals for you super fans. Ready? Here we go. What was the portal code to reach Pangea in the original Pangea Holo? Holo? Why don't they just say hollow? The original portal cone. Oh, she was employee number four three three one, but Don't think that's it. Seventy eight portals, crimson scale, brace of claw, one twenty fifth. There's no it's Malcolm assigned this. Malcolm assigned this for me and I'll ship to my niece. Can I value treatment? Use the gold ink. Okay, easy enough. Should go into Sweet Lake Kitty. Can't believe you're already blank years old. Blah blah. Evan loves you. Get this done quick. Okay. Who keep. An interdimensional traveler who keys 6837. So stepping into the lair of a deadly queen rack, so a piece. 45th. There's a reason I'm selling. I wanted a Reggie. They stopped the production on those after the fake fan, faux fans misunderstood the artistic vision behind the best dino ever. And they're impossible to get. Scott said he's connections at TFC. Turns out he does not. Got me this thing instead. What am I supposed to do with another queen? Way to ruin my 30th birthday. I'm guessing 3 8, or 6837? Ding, ding, ding! You did it! Huh. The dinosaur hologram appeared. What happens if I get all five? Probably get a trophy and some kind of thing. I don't know. This is Dino Digits. 
Your next question is... In the first Pangea, Jane's ID can be seen on her first day at Port Tech. What is her ID number? Oh, that's easy. That was, um... The first one? Yeah, Jane, 4331. Hologram for the statue. There's Evelyn watching over the park. But who was watching over her? My best friend, it turned out. Was I wrong to expect a bare minimum of goddamned loyalty? Yes. <laughs> Welcome back to Dino Digits. The next question is... During the portal pandemonium, how many portals were torn open? Portal pandemonium? What? Three hundred seventy-eight? Portals and what climbs through but the crimson scaled and razor clawed red raptor. This 125th scale model captures the ferocious claws of blood, the leader of a deadly carnivore horde. In the thrilling portal pandemonium of Pangea Forever, it's welcome edition. Okay. So I'm assuming 378 is the, uh the answer Correct. ready here's our next question how many pre-recorded messages came with the limited edition talk to me Reggie Was that the note that was... One of Reggie... the pterodactyl. Oh, okay. So there is a Reggie on here. He can bite, he can fly, he can talk. That's right, Reggie is here. Limited edition. Talk to me, Reggie. Comes with built-in mic and banter box. Voice synthesizer. Featuring 785 variable responses. Damn. That is a lot of pre-recorded shit. 785. Okay. In his words, he cleverly evaded about 1,051, right? And it's tricky, because they wrote it out. Congratulations! You've won Dino Digits! You will receive a... Oh, what's that? A special transmission from beyond the portal? Well, I'll leave you to it. 
Thanks for playing. This is Craig T. Young signing off. <laughs> you did it. it! I can't talk long, but I had to get this transmission to you. I might be a portal hopping commando conquering dinosaur hunter. But you're the real multiverse master for tracking down all these prehistoric predators. Oh crap. Trevor's got Queen Rex after him again. Gotta get back to the hunt. See you in Pangea. Jane out. Oh, Evelyn was playing the character Jane for the thing. Okay. Hmm. Cool, cool. Uh, Reggie's Adventure, the Volcano. I don't know why these are white and this one's green. Maybe there's a thing to do with each one of these or something? Possibly. But, uh, yeah, we're nearing the end. I already got Slitherfang Earth Grinders. What? Why does it say I have zero? I... That's not accurate. I already got those. No, I, I already did that. I just need to go craft it. I just haven't been back to the base yet. But yeah, we're uh, uh, pretty much running out of stuff to do in the DLC. So I think it's almost time to go back to the base game. This is not the place. No, this is the place. They're not a thing. But I already did the thing to do here. Pretty sure. There's like a different thing here that I don't know about. think so? Oh yeah, I did look up what those were. It's cauldrons. Oh, one is the relic ruins and one is the arena. That's right. Um, 
because I didn't actually finish the relic ruins. But I mean, that's pretty much it. Like, there's... Nothing else of note, really? As far as, as far as I can tell, like, that's pretty much all there is left. But I'll take a look around Fleet's End um, before we get going, but I think the Relic Ruins is kind of the last thing we need to do. I'm pretty sure the arena thing is activated at the arena, like, back up here, the Memorial, Memorial Grove. Yeah, I haven't actually been back to the Mall of the Arena yet, but I'll probably just lower the difficulty for some of those things because they are kind of ridiculous to do on Ultra Hard. Or very hard, pretty sure. They're, yeah. But there's still, like, I really did just go from point A to point B in the, ba in the base game. Um... There's quite a few things. I didn't retrieve the drone back here? I thought I did. Hmm. Yeah, there's quite a few things on the base game I just didn't do yet. Um, and there's all these side quests and stuff. Um, which there are quite a few. Um... But yeah, there's a lot of main things, like the hunting grounds, the melee pit stuff, the rebel camps, and the outposts, uh, the relic ruins, um, gauntlet runs, which I don't really want to do, but they're, they're fine. It's definitely not my favorite thing, but... Uh, but yeah, let's go to the relic ruins. Should have enough time for that. Someone else came across this ruin. Camp looks awesome. Careful not to let this stain my hands.
some data here. Interesting. This could help. This elevator's moving. Some data survived. Relic. How do I get in there to get it?
I can get to the other end of the tunnel. get into that cart from the other side. Let's see what we've got down here. seen better days. Gotta be careful around these cars. Oh. Cart 
should have power now. I'm in. Got another relic. Okay, on my way. Perhaps they would be better enjoyed together with me on the other side of the door. Another fortunate swing of the hammer for old Gildan? Aloy! My flame haired Nora, my damn fixer, my second set of hands! Who would have thought we'd meet again in such familiar circumstances? Ha! Ah, certainly not me. <laughs> what are you doing here? Well, now, it all started when I heard the echoes of a most peculiar voice beckoning me into this beguiling place. But. I resisted. I knew this was a special delve, one I had to share, so I went and fetched my friend Olvar, who was more than willing. And where is he? Alas, we got separated when we sailed into a howling tempest on the way back here. Blew me right overboard. I floundered about in the waves, certain I'd become snap bait. But nope. The sea spat old Gildan right out onto the shore. Olvar undoubtedly thought I was a goner, and pressed on, as any true delver would. I followed in his footsteps as far as I could, until I came across a door that wouldn't budge. Naturally, I searched for another means of entry. That's when I uncovered an ancient lever, tantalizing in its door-opening potential. So you pulled the lever? I pulled the lever, which may have, upon reflection, sealed this door shut behind me. And thus do we find ourselves once again at a fortuitous meeting. Can we step back a minute? How exactly are you here? The last time I saw you was in the dam way up north. After your departure, I wandered here and there, dabbled in a few ruins. Even tried my hand at another dam out past Baron Light. But nothing could quite compare to our delve. You wandered all the way from Banuke territory to the Forbidden West? An ember in the wind, girl. That's old Gildan. And as luck would have it, I bumped into an expedition headed for the Burning Shores. 
Now there's an opportunity for fellowship and adventure, I thought. So I chucked my lot in with theirs, and here we are. Well, I'm not sure how you managed to get out here unscathed, but... <sighs> it's good to see you, Gildan. Yeah, so the dam up north, I'm pretty sure he's talking about the frozen wilds. Because I'm, if I remember correctly, he was part of that DLC. Which is pretty cool. They brought him back for another DLC, which, yeah. I mean, the frozen wilds was great. It was super, super good. And he was uh, one of the highlights. So, kind of forgot he's also in this. Tell me about this Olvar guy. Our bond was forged on the road to these uncharted shores. Night after night, I relayed my previous ventures to my traveling companions. Olvar took it all in with a fascinated silence. So when we got here, we agreed to share our fortunes. The look on his face when I told him about this place. Nothing quite like the joy of a new delve shared with good company. After I fell off our boat, I searched all over for him. I was starting to think him lost when I found his camp up top. He'll be as happy as a sun-kissed Karja to find out I'm not dead. I'm sure he will. Okay, so let me get this straight. You think Olvar somehow managed to get deeper in the ruin? Courtesy of a handy-dandy shaft. Or, well... Not so handy dandy now that some rubble is blocked the way. Right, so if we're gonna find him, we need to find a way past that door you mentioned. We? Yes, Gildan, I will help you find Olvar. Make sure you don't get yourself trapped again. <laughs> Marvelous! Just like old times. You with your surprising and perplexing ways. Me with my nose for danger and excitement. The door lies just ahead. After you. Welcome to my humble, temporary abode. Nice place. Indeed. Would have loved to share this discovery with Olvar. Regrettably, I tumbled into the sea as the ruin entered our sights. Could imagine my joy discovering my lanterns in this tunnel. Presuming me dead, Olvar put them to good use. So resourceful. Find something? Well, there's a passcode left behind by one of the old ones. He was alone here. He broadcast the recording, hoping others would join him. Did anyone come? Not sure. This is where that dastardly lever was lurking. But well, let's not pull any more levers. And here I present our hinged hindrance, the finale of our grand tour.
Back by the call of the Delve. Let's press finally in. <laughs> Crumbling stone, malodorous mildew, a Delver's dream. Looks like someone tried to blast into that room across the way. Olvar's never been stingy on the blast paste. Old ones must have loved spending time underground to build these tunnels. Must have been great delvers. How do you suppose they went about creating these tunnels? By hand? Last paste? Plow horn, perhaps? <laughs> yep! This pile of rubble is definitely an Ovar special. Well, the path's blocked now. We'll have to find another way up. We might be able to move this train car. Can I, uh, get some help? Anything you need! All right, let's push. Ah, the joys of locomotion! Did you hear that? Yep, let's keep our guard up. I'll tell you, the number of delves where a crate saved my hide. Or nearly crushed it. <sighs> this control panel's fried.
can't reach that ledge. I'd give you a boost, but uh, my knees aren't what they used to be. It's a code and key module. Hang tight down there. I'll look around. No worthwhile delve is free of its devilish challenges. <laughs> Could check this vent, see what I find. Best of luck! Personally, I've always been more proficient at losing things and finding them. You name it, I misplace it. Hammers, shards... <laughs> I even lost my precious looking glass falling into the sea. I need your help with another card upstairs, Gildan. I'll find you an easier way up. My arms are at your service! I see you haven't lost your knack for hazardous traversal! No. Oh! Oh, you're fine. Of course. Our old world friends left us another code. A true gentleman. I'll bet plenty of people answered his call. It doesn't look like it. Up here. the elevator. Hey, Gildan! Hop in! All righty! Mind sending that elevator back down for old Gildan? Is this safe? Uh, it's safe enough. What a splendid abundance of carts. Nobody can get to pushing?
boy. This cart's squealing worse than a boar on Smith East's Eve. There's that noise again. It sounds like it's closer. Okay, maybe there's a way with less... falling? Could use that cart on the upper floor to climb higher. Need to find a way on top of it first. Help me get the crate upstairs. Gildan, think you can uh, get to the elevator controls? You mean climb across? Sure. So, how did you and Olvar team up? Traveling with a caravan. Yeah, he was prickly at first. Till I oh, yeah, till I told him about Mum, her priceless looking glass, and how I found one just like it. He was interested in your looking glass? He's an inquisitive mind. You two will be tighter than two nuts on a boat. Ha <laughs> ha! Still got it! 
All right, let's give this crank a whirl. Ready to go? supposed to indicate do just do the thing all right I don't know how to indicate it so um, also that I'm pretty sure that's glitched now because like this is what we're doing um, But yeah, uh, we'll finish this quest on the next episode because we are out of time. But thanks for being here, guys. Greatly appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed. Of course, before I get going, a very special thank you going out to the current Farts and Crap Show members, which at the time of recording is the one and only Novalis Dragonis. Thank you so much for choosing to support the show a bit more directly. Greatly helps out. Greatly appreciate it. Uh, if you guys want to be incredibly awesome, like Novalis Draconis and get in on all those membership benefits, uh, check out the join button down below. Tier started at three bucks a month. It's only ten cents a day. Gets you into all the basic stuff, including getting to vote on the series that get made here on the channel via the members' choice polls. And we do have one active right now that started on February the twenty-second, uh, or will be starting. I'm pretty sure this is coming out after the twenty-second, uh, and it will run until the end of the month. They always go for a full seven days, and that is to select the series. That will be following Final Fantasy Tactics when it is done in early March. So if you guys want to get in on that, that's how you do it. And um, yeah, if you're already a member though, just check the membership tab. Uh, you should see the most recent one at the top. And uh, if you missed out on previous members choice polls, you can still vote on those. Most of them are still open. But uh, yeah, that's going to do it for today. So once again, folks, thanks for being here. Till next time, take care, and I hope you all have a fantastic day.